like and subscribe for daily videos. Paranormal Believers of Reddit, What Made You Believe? When I was 18 living on my own for the first time, I kept waking up and seeing a woman with matted, black hair sitting on my bed and smiling at me. A creepy smile. Not a nice one. She scared the shit out of me. One night I woke up and she was there and slowly held up her hands and they were fucking grotesque. It looked like third degree burns covering them. I was talking to my mom and mentioned it and she just said weird. She hasn't been around since you were a kid. Don't encourage her. She shows up every now and again. Sometimes in nightmares. Sometimes when I wake up at night she's at the foot of the bed being creepy. I've had roommates who have seen her too, without me mentioning it to them ever before. I just ignore her. Oh God. Okay so I tell this story every time ghost stuff is brought up. I used to live in NC, in a small town no one's ever heard of. I used to think about ghosts all the time but only for fun, I never considered it any different from Santa or fairies. One night, my mom told me she was sending me to Bible summer camp and my experiences there were isolating and negative so I had a breakdown because I really didn't want to go. I didn't know shit of what spirits could or couldn't do especially back then, and I wasn't one to pray at that age, so I decided to ask any spirit in my house for help, once my parents had left. I called out, is anyone here? Can you please help me? A few times. Before I continue, I need to stress, I have lived in that house for about 10 years by that point. I was an abused kid too, so I taught myself to be very keen to every noise the house makes, naturally or by the people living in it. I knew every creak by heart at that point. If someone was in the house, I would know, and I would know who it was based on their walk. And I knew for sure the difference between normal croaks to walking sounds, the difference between the levels, which doors being opened and closed, etc. So, after a while of calling out for help, I hear something, my parents door unlocking from upstairs, opening, and swinging shut. A pause. I called out again, thinking my parents might still be home and maybe I made a mistake, which I distinctly remember because if they heard me crying I would have gotten yelled at. Hello? Is anyone home? Another pause. Then, I heard footsteps walk along the hall above me tentatively. They were light, like someone who weighed so little, and was walking barefoot. Almost the same sound as a cat, my cat was outside, though, and these were distinctly human steps. No one was home. I called out one more time, hello? The walking slowly made its way to the top of the stairs and paused, as if leering down from the top step, something I would often do if there were a stranger in the house or if I was listening in on people downstairs. Then, very slowly, I heard this entity walk all the way down the steps and leisurely walk towards me down the hall. I saw a glimmer of light like a sunbeam catching the edge of a dress beneath the trees, and the footsteps stopped about a yard out in front of me. I nervously tried to explain myself, but I felt a confusion and irritation from this thing. I didn't hear words or see much of anything so I didn't know how to close the conversation. I just awkwardly walked away to watch TV, but I felt eyes on me that whole night. I think I just woke them up and they were annoyed. Ever since then, I've been a believer, and I've had more unexplainable events happen there too. But, not much after since I've moved out. I've been paranoid all my life, so it's normal for me to hear or see things, I also have nightmares regularly. So when something happens, I think it's my imagination, yet things have happened to me that I'm sure were real. The first was when I was 13 to 14 years old. I was at a funeral and I had to pee, the bathroom was the most terrifying I'd ever seen. It was too big, there was a closed door that led to a totally dark room, I don't know why it was there, and behind the toilet was a typical horror movie bathtub. As soon as I entered I thought about turning around and leaving. But I definitely had to go to the bathroom. So I walked to the toilet, it was about 3 or 4 meters from the front door, and tried to pee. From the toilet I had a view of the dark room and was sure something was looking at me, I was also afraid that something would come out of the bathroom due to watching horror movies. I tried not to think about this and finally I started to urinate, it was there, when I was most vulnerable, that I heard someone walking beside me, making as much noise as possible, like when a cowboy walks into the tavern and only his boots are heard, and stops behind me. I tried to think that it was nothing and that I shouldn't turn around, but I couldn't help it. Fortunately, there was nobody but when I turn around I began to feel dizzy, in a single second my vision blurred until I saw everything in black except for a red symbol in the center of my vision. After a few seconds I came back to myself and left that bathroom immediately. 
I know that isn't an amazing or too scary story, but after that I started to feel fear of bathroom. Sorry if I have mistakes, English isn't my first language. My boyfriend, two-month-old daughter, and I lived in Port Perry, Ontario in a two-bedroom apartment. The people that used to live in our unit moved into the three-bedroom unit right next to us. I started noticing weird things like lights being on when I had them off, cupboards open, things moved or flipped upside down. Now I'm pretty anal about my lights being off because hydro in Ontario is high, and anal about my place being clean but I chalked it up to postpartum exhaustion and hormones. Until I left for the day with my friend and when I came home all of my lights were on, all of my cupboards were open, and all of my doors were open. First I thought okay well my BF is home, nope he was at work. When I called him he automatically assumed that it was the neighbors, they did kind of look like junkies, coming into our place and they might have a key. And I thought well what about the landlord? So me trying to be clever set up my laptop camera to look at the door and before I left, put baby powder down on the ground to see if there were any footprints while I was gone. I left for about an hour to grab groceries and when I came back no marks on the baby powder and cameras still rolling. Nothing looked out of place, no lights or anything on, everything looked normal. I watched the video and nothing moved but there was a smash kind of sound, but that could have been anything. I didn't put any thought into it since there were a lot of units and we lived on a main street. So I put my daughter for a nap, got up to go to the bathroom and, oh my god, all of my makeup, face wash, soap, and counter stuff was everywhere, like a tornado ripped through my bathroom. I tripped the fuck out like either there was some scary shit happening or someone was just in here. After that I became like high alert and made sure I always shut lights off, closed everything, and sure as shit man. Two days after that I was playing COD in my living room, daughter sleeping, and I hear like a clinging sound coming from my kitchen. Turn the lights on and one of my cupboards is open and three glasses sitting on the counter, BTW I never used glass cups, never liked them. So needless to say I was fucking freaked out. I ended up talking to the neighbor about whether or not she had issues with the landlord entering the unit and she gave me this weird look and asked, why? Things out of place? Basically she was dealing with the same exact thing. She contacted the landlord about it and he laughed saying it's always been like that, and there is a haunted restaurant next door. Now the haunted restaurant is real, and it's called Jester's Court. I lived there for about 4 more months after that and constantly had similar issues with zero explanation. So yeah. I have never been able to explain what it was. I used to work night shift in group homes for the mentally disabled, or severely mentally ill. At one house I worked at there was constant scratching coming from the walls. I figured it was just squirrels but now I'm not too sure. We had set a lot of traps and never caught anything. But this isn't what made me a believer. What happened was one night I was watching TV in the living room after all the residents had fallen asleep. Around 3 a.m. the doorbell starts ringing like someone is frantically pushing it. I get up and go to the door but when I got there and opened it nobody was there. Now the three things you need to know about the entryway. First is that the entry is into the living room and I can see it from the couch. Second is that the front door has a very large window on it. Two thirds plus of the door is window and lastly, that the walkway to the front door knob a 20 to 30 feet corridor that has 12 feet brick wall on either side. So in order to ding dong ditch you'd have to run back that entire length to be able to duck around a corner. I figured I was being pranked by one of our more mischievous residents so I went and checked on them all and they were all fast asleep, as soon as I finished shutting the last residence door the doorbell started frantically ringing again. I rushed to the door again only to find nobody there. This time I was determined to catch them so I turned all the lights off except the TV and hid right beside the door so I'd be able to immediately open it when they came back. After 20 minutes the doorbell started going insane again. I jumped out and quickly turned on the walkway lights and looked out the window but nobody was there. I then opened the door thinking maybe they were hiding to the side of the door like I had. After seeing nobody there, my stomach dropped and I got a feeling of dread. I slowly started closing the door. As soon as the door was almost closed all the way the doorbell started going nuts again and stayed that way for at least 15 minutes before stopping again. It was almost as if whatever it was took great pleasure in mocking and taunting me. I locked the door and ran my ass to the couch after turning on all the lights I could. Another disturbing thing about this is it seemed to read my mind, whenever I got the urge to go outside and smoke it would start with the doorbell again, it's like it didn't want me to forget it's there, and a threat. Looking back I'm pretty sure it was a poltergeist, that place was rife with bad energy as most group homes are, 
a lot of suffering and raw emotions happen at those places, it also didn't help we had a resident there who had literally gone insane after watching his parents get murdered in front of him and a medium low functioning schizophrenic with what I've confirmed of at least 8 distinct people talking to him in his head. Both of these resident are constantly having shit knocked off their shelves slash walls in the middle of the night and it's super common for them to be yelling at people that aren't there to shut up in the middle of the night. I used to think it was just mental illness but now I'm not too sure. Also years later I worked in a facility where someone hung themselves in the bathroom. The bathroom door slams shut in the middle of the night if you try to leave it propped open which is company policy. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for daily videos.